Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. If you would like to support me or the channel in any way, you can do so by liking this video and subbing to the channel. If you're not subbed by now, guys, like, what are you doing, man? You come here every day, you watch the videos, go ahead and hit the sub button. But in today's video, we'll actually be discussing Peter Molnar, who I personally feel like is one of the most underrated athletes in the classic physique division and peter could also potentially be a dark horse for this 2022 arnold classic in the classic physique division now if you guys follow the channel i actually posted peter molnar as my dark horse for the 2021 arnold classic and for some reason guys it just seemed like the judges does not like his physique going into the arnold classic i thought that peter could potentially win that show last year and peter ended up placing eighth behind Danny Yunin. Now, Danny Yunin is also another guy, incredible physique, but we're not going to talk about him today. And then going into the Mr. Olympia show, Peter Molnar placed 14th. And this is just also surprising to me. It's like they're not even giving Peter the chance to stand next to some of the top guys. I don't think he was in the first call out at the Arnold Classic or the Mr. Olympia. Like, I don't even think they gave him a chance to compare him to some of the top guys. And I believe this is a guy that should be placing very high at these classic physique shows. Now, going back to the Arnold Classic, when I was watching the Arnold Classic, Cedric McMillan actually said that Peter Molnar was one of his favorite physiques on the stage, and he couldn't understand how Peter wasn't in the first call out. Also, I believe Dennis James commented on that song, too. They was expecting to see Peter in the first call-out. And he's also an incredible poser. Now, looking at his physique, pretty much the only knock that comes to mind is he does have these quads that are kind of long in length. So, it may not look necessarily too classic. And his cuts and his quads aren't that deep. But that's honestly just me nitpicking, guys. This guy has an incredible physique. And I am unsure why the judges aren't rewarding this physique but we'll talk about that a little later why i think he isn't placing his high and this is the package that he brought to the 2021 mr olympia where he placed 14th and something i also noticed guys i'm not sure how tall peter is maybe about five eight or five nine but outside of terrence ruffin and brian ainsley and alex Combranero, those are like the shorter guys that place high we don't get another shorter guy until peter at the mr olympia that plays 14th ahead of him we have like Brian Jones, we have Robert Timms, Fabian Meyer, we have Mike Summerfield. All of these guys are taller guys, so it's seeming like it's becoming harder for the shorter guys to place higher. But at the Mr. Olympia, even though Peter had a lot of great athletes ahead of him, I don't think he would have maybe made it to the top three, but I definitely believe that he should have placed a little higher than what he did. And this was from the Kentucky Muscle Fist Pro, I believe. Uh, this is where Peter qualified for the 2022 mr olympia and this wasn't too stacked of a show at all and this was an incredible showing from him as usual but guys let me know in the comment section below do you guys believe that peter molder should be placing higher than what he does i remember before he actually switched to the npc there were talks of peter molder versus chris bumstead and there was a lot of hype for it and people were saying that people could uh, peter could potentially be chris but the judges just don't seem to like his physique for some reason. Uh, maybe they feel like he looks more like a bodybuilder. And I hate saying that because if you have a classic physique division and you have a weight cap, I feel like if the athlete fits their weight cap, you should judge them as a classic athlete. It makes no sense to let someone compete in a classic physique division, but tell them, you know, maybe they should move up to another division because they don't fit. I mean, I feel like if you fit the weight cap, you should fit in a division, right? And this is the last version of Peter Molder we're going to look at today. And this was actually from the 2021 Romania Muscle Fest Pro, where he actually placed second to Jose Berry Berry, also known as Madelman. Madelman. I'm not really sure exactly how to pronounce that, but I honestly probably would have had Peter Molder winning this show over him. I feel like Jose Berry Berry looks a little more like a 212. But as I said earlier in the video, guys, Sometimes when Peter Molnar is called to hit his favorite classic pose, he usually hits a most muscular pose, which I find it to be very odd. Now, he does indeed hit classic poses, but he does usually hit most musculars. And in this Romania show, uh, when I was actually getting pictures to compile for this video, I seen him hitting maybe two or three types of most muscular. So maybe some of the way that he's posing sometimes, maybe why the judges 
pick him a little lower. I mean, at this point, I'm honestly just kind of reaching guys, trying to figure out why this guy isn't placing high. But it is very odd seeing a classic physique athlete constantly hit most musculars. Now, he does look amazing in them, but with a favorite classic pose, it should be something like a twisting back double, I would assume. But this is going to be the video for today, you guys. I hope you did indeed enjoy it. And as always, let me know in the comment section below if you agree or disagree. Do you guys feel like Peter should maybe be placing a little higher? Or do you guys think he's a first call out or a top six guy at the Olympia or the Arnold Classic? Now, the competition at the Olympia was very stiff. I can understand him placing lower, maybe a little higher than 14th, though, maybe around 9th or 10th. But for the Arnold Classic, I definitely feel like he could have been a first call out guy. Like, comment, and sub. I'm out.